Hey everybody, Rusty here. Today I'm going to show you how I build a wing RM style. And I'm going to show you the simplified way. I'm not going to go into too much detail about the theory of it all. I'm just going to show you exactly what I did step by step and hopefully clear some of this up up here of how you do this. Now I've got a little chunk of foam here that I'm going to build a little 24 inch wing on. Let me just move these over. My tools. Okay, I'm going to start marking and blocking this thing. And I got a 4 inch edge here. I'm going to put another 4 inch edge right here. Okay. And that's at 24 long. I had just started measuring that. So I'm going to measure 12 here. Let's see. It's a little bit off of 24. I'll fix that up. That edge is right there. And down. That. I don't have to be too exact with this thing. That's center for the inside edge of that, the inside edge of that one. Okay. There's 12. I'm going to measure up like this to see how much foam we even have to use. I just want to get that 9 inches out of it. So there we go. 9 inches. That'll be our center line. There's our nose. Makes me feel the uh, 1 inch there. We got our marks here, and I'm just going to block it out right here, here. Simple as that. I'm just going to start taking foam off of here like this. You know what? I forgot to make an accurate four inch mark right on the top of this. It's pretty much at four inches, but I'm going to try Side here is going to go from here to here. Let me show you how to make my even on here. Let's do that. Save that off. Cut this off here. Right. It's almost like a little half trap, it's just a little bit, a uh, little bit higher aspect ratio because I didn't make it. Actually, I did kind of make it nine inches, but the right, it is about right. So this is going to be a little half trap here, because I do have enough foam to make one. I don't think I had enough to make an actual half trap. There we go, we blocked out. Pop that off. There's our wing, there's some old marks in the back. It's not relevant to this project. Let's put that up there, and... Let's just dive right into this thing. Now, the first thing I do when I get to this stage after I'm blocked out is I like to take, hope you can see this, I get a sanding block here that is the drywall screen, 180 grit drywall screen, wrapped around a chunk of EP, E foam, this squishy kind of spongy but hard but pretty firm foam. Now, I'm going to take this thing, I'm just going to place it at a, at a 45 degree -ish angle here. I'm going to make a cut. One. There we go. I can have a cut and define it. There we go. I got a 45, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten strokes or so here. A couple more. Sixteen strokes on that. There's the first cut there. I left a little bit of edge here to to round out if they want, but you can also take that edge right down with a few more strokes and go all the way right down the razor edge this way if you want. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this and I'm going to lay it at about, I'm just guesstimate, half the angle there. Half that angle, I'll make a cut, I'll make another mark, make about three passes like that. There's your leading edge shape. There's a polygon. It's this, it's this, it's this, and there's a little bit to round off. I'm rounding it off, what I'll do is I'll just make a few light brushing strokes across it. And just take off basically the tool marks and kind of average out the surface of it. 
blam, leading edge right there. There's one side. Okay, I can even do the other side here really quick. I'm just going to do it the same way. I'm going to block out about equal amount. Center like that. There you go. Or 45. Off that angle with a few strokes. And let's blend it. There we go. Blend the edge all the way down like this. Make sure you just blend these edges all the way down like this. And just make sure they they look about the same. Like that. There's your leading edge done completely. These plates halfway done. Trailing edge. Here we go. We got the pink in the middle. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go at a like a 22 and a half angle like this. I'm gonna make a couple of cuts like that and get a surface started. I'm gonna just follow that surface right now. Just like this. to there. Give it up. One of the hardest part of it right here is taking all of this down. Take this down like this. I'm getting there. Now I'm cutting into the other side here because I just have to. It's still that way. trailing edge width. Now this one's not quite even. I'm not take this down a few more strokes. Let's look at it. There we go. We're starting to get an even trailing edge there. You know, pretty much. And this is right here. This is a completely flyable RM right now. This would fly right off the board. Just as if, like I did with this without any further refinement. That's all you need to do. That's it right there. As a matter of fact, let's see. It's gonna be, of course, it's gonna be tail heavy. Let me find a nose weight. Be right back. Okay, since this is a little fly trap, I'm back. I got a few quarter uh, nickels here. Hopefully, 15 grams would be maybe enough. Let's try to figure out what the CG is supposed to be on this thing. It's like 9 and 375 on the original fly trap, so it's going to be like 4.125 on here. Four. It's a little over 4, so the CG should be around there somewhere. Let's see if I can load up a few weights on here. Tell my super scientific method of doing this. Let's just see if it's, it's probably a nose heavy. I'm going to guesstimate I'm probably going to put two to start on here. Let's actually put them side by side like this. Scrap a tape. I'm going to have to take one, two of these and see how close I am to the CG. I'm a little nose heavy. But now something like that so right right there oops, right about right about there somewhere is your CG right there somewhere is the CG and oops, let's tape this on a little better let's tape it all messed up I think that made pieces off of it it's all ripped it's like another piece but it'll do stick that on there Still needs a little more nose weight. Let's see, I got a screw here. I'm gonna try to shove a screw in here like that. And screw a drywall screw right into it. There we go. That's about. That's about right. Right there. Now, 
if you want to make this thing fly without fins, it's a simple matter of doing something like this. Cut that off. I'm going to try to get the same angle. Just flip that over like that. Put this on here and try to match it. Chop that off right there. Like that. Leave the surfaces flat, drag tips. See if it changes a little bit, but you can readjust it. There's a little bit of wind blowing around now, so these on the bench test glides with this little mock up aren't too stable at all exactly, but this would be a totally viable stable wing. Let's go try to test it. And there we go. There's about the aft CG limit right there. Now if I move, I bet if I move this up forward here. This fella, do I have enough sticking? Just left me this tape to do this. Maybe. It'll stay there for at least one test. Let's see what this will do. We should be pretty close to being in the range by now. And there we go. There's your CG. That thing will fly with surfaces. Even a little more nose weight would help it go better in faster conditions, but like this, it would be aerobatic. Just turn that screw out a little bit. There we go. So it's stabilizing on a glide. And that would be the little finless RMV. You'll put a couple of little tiny servos in this thing and try to throw it out as a little tiny micro lead sled in some high wind, but. That's the RM way. There it is. Right on.